Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly. In this video, we're going to talk about that. How can you actually make a dashboard in about 15 minutes? So this is the dashboard that I have prepared in 15 minutes. Uh, what this dashboard has is uh, it has different selection options that you can pick up any year from here. And in that year, you can pick up different quarters. You can pick up the regions. Then you can pick up any customer that you want to see. And you can also drill down to even the sales rep. Now let's just take a look at how this dashboard works. So let's say for example, I only want to see the data for 2005. Uh, and so I'm going to unfilter this, uh, click here to unfilter this and only click on 2005. So now this is telling me that in 2005, uh, we've had 142 transactions. This was the total sales. This was the total profit and uh, the maximum uh, sales was this much. The minimum profit was this much, so on and so forth. Now, what if I wanted to see only the customer, let's say, uh, Goodfly. So in 2005, only Goodfly customer, I'm going to click on Goodfly. So it's going to filter down to Goodfly. That means Goodfly gave us 12 transactions. Total sale was about 1.49. Total profit was this much. And this is how the entire thing looked. And these were the dates on which the transactions happened. All right. And that's the way you can kind of work around with the entire dashboard. Let's just take a look at one more example. So 2008 let's say quarter three and I want to see the all the transactions quarter three so 2008 quarter sorry quarter three I said so quarter three I'm just gonna take a look everything here and I can even filter down to any of the sales rep so I can click on Charlie and this is gonna give me in 2008 for uh, all the quarters all regions all customers how much did Charlie sell so you can get the records of Charlie what I'm gonna teach you is how to make this type of a dashboard in about 15 minutes now, 15 minutes is very subjective. I'm just assuming that you have figured out what you wanted to see in the dashboard and you've also figured out that how the dashboard is going to look. I am just going to right now set a timer to 15 minutes and challenge myself to make this dashboard in 15 minutes and show it to you. So this is just about creating a dashboard in Excel when you have a complete clarity of what you want to do in Excel. All right. So uh, let's just get started. I'm here in this uh, file which I have named it as exercise and I have two sheets here which is data and dashboard. In the dashboard all that I have done is I have increased the size of this row uh, which is a little more in height and I have written a text box here which I have which I have used to write sales performance dashboard and in this cell I have written selection options just a bit of uh, you know setting up the screen that's all that I have done uh, to set up the dashboard. The only thing that uh, I want to tell you that you will need to build this dashboard is Excel 2013 and just about a few formulas that you need to know to build this dashboard nothing much nothing major so it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and what I'm going to do now is uh, I am going to start the timer and then let's see if I'm able to finish this in uh, uh, in 15 minutes or not uh, and the only thing that I'm going to do is just go a bit faster because the concepts are very easy and relatively easy to understand so if you want to kind of review anything you can just play back the video once again in uh, i'm so i'm going to go in the internet explorer and i'm just going to click start here and the timer is going to start so one sorry three two one and go okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is the convert this data into a table structure so I'm going to click on any cell press control T for Tango and this is going to ask me that do you want to create a table and I'm going to click on OK and this converts into a table. The next thing that I'm going to do is go into the design tab and right now this is named as table one. I'm going to name this as DATA data. Make sure I press enter after I write the name right now. Uh, the reason why I convert this data into a table structure is because tables are going to allow me to create those slice of buttons, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is right now I have only the date here. I'm going to add two measures, uh, two measures. One is for year. So then I can select the year. The other one is for quarter. So I'm going to calculate the years here. And how do I calculate that? I'm going to use the year function equals to year. Pick up the date, close the bracket, press enter, and I get all the years. As of now, this is showing you as uh, the date format. I'm going to convert that back to a number format. So I get 2005. Uh, I'm going to calculate the quarter for calculating quarter. I'm going to use the month functions equals to month pick up the date close the bracket press enter. This is going to give me the month number. So either this is first month or the second month. Then I'm going to wrap around the month function in the ceiling function and push this to the next 
multiple of three so ceiling month number to the number of three and then again divided by number three so i'm going to get the quarter number that means that january is going to be in the first quarter and uh, april is going to be in the second quarter um, and july is going to be in the third quarter so on and so forth right so you get the quarter number and just for somebody to understand this i'm going to add a q before that so q1 q2 things like that right so i'm going to use the and symbol and the letter q before that so you get q1 q2 q3 q4 right the other thing that i want to do is i also want to have the profit not the profit just not just the profit but also the profit percentage take the profit divided by the amount and i'm going to have the profit converted into a percentage symbol now that i have all my data ready what i'm going to do is quickly create two charts so i will pick up the entire amount pick up the entire profit press alt f1 to make a chart and i'm going to cut the chart from here and go up right on the top and then paste the chart here now as of now this chart is uh, kind of taking all the rows of data but that's not exactly what i want i will figure out a way to do that later so i'm just going to clear the title right click on the chart click on change the chart type to not a column chart uh, but a uh, line chart click on ok and uh, right click on the chart once again click on select data instead of having the numbers here I want to have the dates here so I'm just going to click on the dates and get the dates here click on ok and hopefully I would have the dates here now the other thing that I want to do in the chart is that right now this is accepting as a date axis but I want to convert that to a text axis click on text and click on ok I have this as a text axis uh, now that I have my chart I also want to draw a profitability chart so I'm gonna click on all the profitability numbers again alt F1 to make a chart cut the chart from here go right up on the top and then paste the chart right here now I will take all the formatting from this chart control uh, C to copy and then paste the formatting in this chart so alt E S the shortcut for paste special and then click on formats and then click on OK and I get a chart like that but uh, I want the chart to be a little more distinctive so I'm just going to make it a line chart like that and then change the chart type to not just a simple line chart but I want to have a line with markers click on OK now uh, and let's just color the markers as the same color as the line right don't worry about the mess we'll clean it up later okay now that I have the two charts here uh, the other thing that I want to do quickly is uh, test if the charts are working fine if I click the buttons or not but as of now I quickly have to get the slicer so I'm going to click anywhere on the data in the table that I've created go in the design tab insert the slicer and I want to insert the slicer, slicer on the year on the quarter on the sales rep on the customer and on the region that's about it I'm going to click on OK and I quickly have the slicers now these are my smart buttons that I can click and then the chart is going to get filtered now if I click on the north take a look that the chart is also getting squeezed out so I don't want that so what I'm, what I'm gonna do is pick up both these charts right click on the chart click on the format sorry size and properties and I'm gonna go in properties and say don't move or size with cells that's gonna make sure that the chart is not moving all right so when I now filter to only 2005 data take a look what is going to happen the rows are going to get filtered here so you can see that the rows are filtered and you only so let's say 2007 data so you can see that the rows are filtered now and the chart is also taking the effect of that uh, the reason why is because uh, chart does not show the data which is hidden in the row so if it will only show the data which is visible in the cells right if the row is hidden the chart is not going to show that so I'm just going to do a control Z take these two charts and start working around my dashboard so control X to cut it from here go in the dashboard and paste those charts right up here and I'm here and I'm just going to stretch it till about here I think that should be okay and also get my slicers so I'm just going to pick up these slicers uh, cut them control X to cut it and then go in the dashboard and then paste the slices from here and so I'm going to start with the year slicer uh, and then after that I want the quarter slicer and after that I want the region slicer and then I can start and then I can have the customer slicer and then this slicer so uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is pick up the three slices on the top year quarter and region and make them four column now so one two three four so I have four columns in this the width of the slicer is going to be seven 
and the height is going to be 1.2 right same formatting for all the three slices then i'm going to right click on all the three slices right click on the slicer and then go in um, slicer settings and in slicer settings i want to say that i don't want to see the header that's pretty evident that this is here it's quarter and it's region so i'm going to check off the header and also check on the items with no data click on ok and i get a slicer like that i'm going to left line that uh, left align sorry i'm just going to left align the slices oops i'm just losing out on time okay so slices are aligned i'm just going to put it right here now let's just try take a look so it's working it's working absolutely fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start working with these two slices again i want these slices in about what do you say three columns three is fine and then again the width is going to be seven and let's say the height is five that's okay or maybe four let's just say 4.1 okay and then i want the headings here so i'm just going to retain that and align the slices on the left hand side right and then drag this at the bottom and i have this something like that right and just going to drag it on the top now uh, again clicking on both of these right click uh, slicer settings hide items with no data click on okay so that you don't get to see any items that have no data all right, the other thing that I want to do is I also want to um, have um, some formulas here on the top which says maximum profit and things like that. So no outline for this and no outline for this as well. And what I'm going to do is drag the chart, make some space on the top so that I can write some formulas here. So the first formula is going to be total, total sales. Then I want to find uh, the maximum uh, sales in in this time period whatever time period is selected and i also want to find the minimum sales right and let's just find that so i'm going to use the subtotal formula for that so i'm going to write equals to subtotal uh subtotal uh, the first thing that i want to find is the total sales so i'm just going to say sum nine stands for sum here and then uh it's asking me that where is the range so that my, my range is in the data and I want to take a term sum of all the amount close the square bracket close the bracket here and I get the number here then I want to find the maximum sales so I will say equals to subtotal again uh, so why don't I copy the same formula and wrap, copy it down and right now 9 stands for sum but maximum stands for 4 so I'm just gonna write 4 here and again uh, 9 stands for sum but five stands for minimum and i want minimum so i'm just going to write five here and that's about it i get my numbers here now similarly i want to find the total uh profit so instead of sales i will write profit maximum not sales but profit minimum sales but not minimum profit but not sales so right now i am picking up the amount but instead of amount what do i want i want the profit similarly i don't want the amount but what do i want i want the profit uh, and similarly I'm just going to change this to profit right uh, that's about it and I also want to find the total number of transactions so I'm just going to say total transactions how many transactions do I have I'm just going to say equals to subtotal and the reason why I use a subtotal formula is because subtotals actually can work on the filter so even if your rows are hidden right uh, and they are filtered and they are hidden subtotals will only consider the visible rows and not the hidden rows that's the reason why i'm using the subtotal formula so equals to subtotal not substitute but subtotal and uh right now i want to find the total transactions of any record so i'm going to say count and count any record so in sales sorry in the data please count anything maybe date let's say so i'm just going to close the bracket press enter and i get 33 transactions this is it and I also want to find the profitability percentage here so I'm just going to drag this a bit down and copy this control C to copy sorry let's just copy this Con control C to copy and paste it right up here and instead of profit I want to say profit percentage and instead of profit I want to say profit percentage and I get it uh, so it's just about a bit of formatting here in this chart uh, cut it and put it on the top and uh, make a line here a dividing line here so and this is nothing but profit percent profitability percentage right this is profitability percentage this is total transactions i'm also going to change the font uh, to seago 
UI and make this very small in about 9 size similarly I'm just going to do the same here and again the font is going to be COUI so that's fine um, all right, uh, so this is done. The only thing that I have to do is uh, kind of format the uh, slices a bit. So as of now, the slices have unnecessary boundaries outside of them. So I'm just gonna pick up all the slices and then go in the slicer options, which is on the top, slicer tools, slicer options. Right now we have a default format. I'm gonna right click here and click on duplicate. And I'm just gonna call this as my style. ST oops YLE my style I'm just gonna say in the whole slicer click on format you have a border here I'm just gonna click on none click on OK and then click on OK and I have no oops why is it not applied let's just take a look options and right here this is my style I just created it and I'm just gonna click here and the borders are gone and almost my my dashboard is ready so the only thing which is pending is that this should be colored in blue because this is going to tell you that this you're talking about sales uh, and this should be colored in orange this is going to tell you that you're talking about profit all right and this is fine you can color this out in gray uh, so maybe this color and the outline uh, weight can be nullified to about one fill also in the same color maybe this and i think our dashboard is complete and let's just take a look at uh, how much time are we left with we have one minute and 48 seconds remaining so that was awesome i was lucky to f uh, finally have some time on my way i'm just going to pause that all right so that was cool uh, i was able to create the dashboard in just about less amount of time what i will do is uh, since I've worked a bit faster on the dashboard and you might just need help with certain aspects of the dashboard that I have created but I have might gone a bit faster on that so I'm going to give you all the resources and the links that you can follow up to get help with these resources but if you're pretty clear with what you want uh, as a dashboard then just by using the tables I have used a table here and just by using the slicers and a bit of formulas I have created an awesome dashboard right and now you know that the charts will only work on visible rows and not the hidden rows and your slices are able to hide unnecessary rows and filter out the right data for you all right uh, so that was the dashboard in 15 minutes thank you so much for staying with me and stay tuned to goodly take care of yourselves and bye bye